The processing for free application for financial student aid or FAFSA, the form is currently delayed nationwide. The deadline in Idaho has now been moved from March 1st to March 31st. The local news aide's Noah Farley tells us why. Processing for the free application for federal student aid, or FAFSA, is experiencing delays. There's two main reasons for the holdup. First, they're changing the form to make it more simple. In the process of identifying how do they take, you know, over 100 questions and reduce it to approximately 30, uh, is something that they've been working diligently on. The second reason is FAFSA's formula change to better identify who is eligible. So it's really a win-win for the American public. Uh, it's a simpler process now, and there's going to be more funds available for students and their families. Yuli Gatica, college and career advisor for Idaho Falls High School, also has some helpful information before you apply for FAFSA. For instance, if a student has parents without Social Security numbers, or if a student does not have parents, they can still apply for FAFSA. So just have them look into their counseling, college and career advisor person, and they should be able to help him um, navigate that step because we want everyone to take advantage of, of the application for sure. You should also be on the lookout for scams when applying. FAFSA application is found online. Um, when you search federal, um, the FAFSA form, make sure that it's .gov because anything else is not a legit, um, it's not a legit website. And while you're waiting for that FAFSA application to process, Lewis says, don't just wait around. Take this time to be laser focused on applying for scholarships. A higher education expert says there are more than 1.7 million scholarships and fellowships available, with a total of more than $7.4 billion, making plenty of opportunities for students in Idaho to get financial aid. Reporting for Local News 8, I'm Noah Farley. If you'd like some more information on how to apply for scholarships, find this story on our website at localnews8.com.